Hi everyone, this is Andrew Time. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be looking at this laptop, which is an Asus X556U. And this computer won't boot into the computer, and the client's very concerned that their data is not recoverable, but we're going to recover that data now. So there's something wrong with the operating system, Windows 10, it's not booting up correctly. Um, what we're going to do is to use a live USB drive to see what the hard drive is doing and try to copy some data out of it. So the First thing we're going to do is to use a very good live disk drive called Medicat. So Medicat is a collection of extremely useful tools that have all been bundled together. And I'm going to leave a link to the description and I'm going to leave a link to a video here, which is going to tell you how to install Medicat onto a USB flash drive. So I'm just going to plug in my Medicat flash drive here. Now with many computers, what you need to do is when you get into the BIOS, whether you've boot it into it automatically like I've done here, or we actually have to press some key combinations. You just have to Google how to get into your BIOS or UEFI. We have to disable secure boot. So what we need to do here is we go into this section called security. It's different on every laptop. Go into secure boot menu and click on this and then make sure it's disabled as we've done here. So I've um, plugged in my USB drive into this corner here, and then we're going to quit and save. So save and exit there. So this is going to boot into the USB flash drive. So what I quite like about Medicat is that it's a little bit less intimidating than other Linux live disk tools. It's all controlled by this user interface and there's plenty of tools which are there which are very useful for most skill levels of computer user. So for example here we've got um, various menus here, antivirus, backup recovery, boot repair, etc. I will not do boot repair first. What I'm going to do is boot into an operating system. And here we have a choice of three different operating systems to boot into. We've got the active boot disk, we've got Lubuntu, and we've got mini Windows 10 ISO. If you are only very familiar with Windows 10 and you want to boot into Windows 10 to see, to have a peek into the hard drive internally, then we can do that. So why don't we boot into Windows 10 and we can see what's inside this computer. Okay, so I've booted into the Medicat USB live disk, and you can see that we have the Windows 10 mini loaded up here, and it's just gonna be a normal familiar interface. What's really great here is that we have a bunch of portable applications that we can use. It's all full of tools that are very, very useful in recovering data. So normally what I would do is use a external solid state drive, and then copy the data internally into the external drive. We have a D drive available here as backup. That's now completely empty. And now we can still see the C drive. I want to be able to copy all this data from the C drive to the D drive. I don't want any errors. I don't want to use Explorer to do it because that's prone to errors too. A really handy application is called the Unstoppable Copier, which I'm gonna open up here as part of the portable applications. And uh, what's great about this application is that it is very resilient to errors. So if there's an error, there's a corrupt file, there's a bad sector, it will just continue. It won't actually stop. It really lives up to its name. It is the unstoppable copier. What we're gonna do is we're gonna select the source, which is the C drive, and then I'm going to press okay here. And I want the target to be the D drive. So I'm gonna use that here. And then we're going to simply press copy and go ahead. So this is gonna be a bit more resilient than the actual um, macro and reflect, which just fails if there's a bad sector. So we're gonna let this continue and see how it goes. So after a few hours, the unstoppable copier has managed to copy the files that we need. And as we can see, we've got a file count here. And now we've successfully recovered the data that we need. So really the way that we're using Medicat here, really just scratching the surface of what's possible. So even just in this Windows 10 mini ISO, there are tons and tons of pre-configured tools that are extremely useful. And we've only really just scratching the surface of what's possible on this particular system. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'll leave a link in the description to a video on how to create a Medicat USB flash drive. It's definitely one of the most useful live USB disk tools that I've ever used. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.